Okay, we know that we've been neglecting you because we've been prepped for the bot contract, but we're back, and to make up for it, we have one of the most heavy effort types of videos we could imagine to make up for it, a Let's Try. So, uh, let's start off. What do we got? Actually, I've got this half-melted... Is that the, the, the chili? Yeah, I believe that is the chili powder. The chili, the chili powder Kit Kat. Kit Kat, brought yeah. to us. Some of these were brought to us by friend Bill, who... You may recall brought us the American Soft Cookies of last year. We'll uh, give that a show to the camera there. Enjoy the view of the kitchen. Yes, indeed. No, no, mine. You ate no. yours. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, you ate yours like a big dumb doof before <laughs> we could get into the camera. And this was melted by my pocket heat. Yeah. Uh, as I recall, it tastes much like a sort of dark chocolate Kit Kat at first, and then there is a little Burn impact sensation. Heat. Yes. So, okay, Greg. Right, there okay. you go. Ooh, I'm shit. Gonna, yeah. Oh, it melted. I told you it melted. Shades of Caddyshack there. Yeah. I know I'm going to regret this. Go for it. I know it. I'm not even a fan of dark chocolate. At some point, something may happen. Actually, there's an odd meat sensation. They give it a little bit. It sneaks up on you. Mm. Kind of feel it in the back of the throat now. And everybody's disappointed because I'm not, like, clutching at my face in pain. Uh, as I recall, it was a subtle sensation. But made much yeah. worse when walking up along the streets of Pasadena. Very subtle, yeah, tingly burny sensation right around here. Why you would inflict this on yourself, I don't know. It's, it's an Aztec thing. Hmm. All right, I guess. Long. I guess next up we have the uh, country ma'am. These are apparently the umami. The umami cookies. Umami is, according to Bill, one of the only things that actually grows on Okinawa. It is Okinawa, right? Yeah, he's on Okinawa. Yeah. With all the after, poisonous snakes. Yeah, after they sh after the Americans shelled the ever-loving fuck out of the island in World War II, it's worse than kudzu over there. Yeah. Once you get it in your yard, it's done. That That is a lousy... Do you not have an autofocus on that? No, not not turned on. Okay. They are a weird sort of purpley maroon color. They are an um, they are umami and chocolate chip. Okinawa Limited, according to according to Bill, these were obtained. He the only place he's ever seen these are actually in the airport on Okinawa. <laughs> Apparently, there is a thriving snack industry in just the airport of Okinawa. Mine has crumbled. Ooh, let's get it in the, in the focus. There's like a multi... There's like an outer purple layer. Inside is kind of pinkish. Followed by a, a other layer inside. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a raw cookie dough, dough in there. I'm actually more trepidatious than I was with the uh, pepper. So it's weird actually kind of scent to it. Come on. Where did my drink go? I think maybe in the kitchen, or did Mayor. you take it in the other room? Technical difficulties, people. We're fucking prepared! That's not even... Oh, butter. Oh, here it is. Ah. It fell down. I think it's from me. <laughs> If anybody's ever had carob, and if you have, I apologize profusely, it smells of carob. Smells vaguely, yeah, it does smell like that same, I think we're seeing kind of the same American soft thing with that weird texture. It's got that soft batch texture to it, so. It's like a, hmm. 
slightly acrid apricot flavor. I taste nothing. Ooh. This well, is my second Japanese cookie, and I'm pretty convinced that. Yeah. Well, I'm picking up something that tastes a little bit like flavorless raw cookie dough, a little bit of chocolate, and a lot of like dried apricot. They're the kind that kind of desiccates you. 0 for 2 on the horrific face count. Aside from, you know, any natural horrificness to our mugs. Yeah, you won uh, bad, buddy. We went to the local uh, Asian supermarket. And we picked things based purely on how funny the packaging looked. Well, and also whether or not I had the ability to eat it or not, because there's no way in hell I'm going to eat the... Uh, the dried octopus yep. noodle snacks. Just shriveled octopus tentacles, apparently. Oh, wait, before we do that, we've also got... Nope, stop. Okay. We've also got the last thing. Oh, yeah. Is, which I don't even know what it is. Oh, a meringue cookie of some kind. Huh. Well, open it up. I read just a tiny bit of Japanese... About as much as your average weeaboo. My ability to read Japanese has not improved in like a decade. But I can pick out the occasional word. That's the focus spot, by the way. Okay. And I see meringue. Okay. Hmm. It's more like my fingers. That's what it smells like. A very, very specialized candy yeah. flavor there. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of looking at this and I'm seeing... I'm seeing astronaut ice cream. You think maybe the flour on the packaging... Uh, a hibiscus? Thing? You think that might be the flavor? Because they're shaped like them. Why would it be, why would it be hibiscus flavored? We have a whole thing in there, flower, uh, flower flavored candies that we got. So, no, um, Ooh, it melt. No, no scent to be to be determined. Ooh. Melts. Just melts on the tongue. Actually, it's melting in my fingers. That's sweet. Hey, it's uh, freeze dried ice cream. Hard hot. Tastes just like astronaut ice cream. Looks kind of like the looks kind of like it should be in a bowl of Lucky Charms, but yeah, you put it on the tongue and it just vanishes. I'm not seeing anything I can really read in that. It's, I could go through a bag of these. It has a slight chocolatey flavor. Hmm. Highly entertaining. This. I have no idea what this is. And it's a subtle vanilla chocolate flavor. In fact, you're not seeing that. That's coming home with me. <laughs> yeah, fair point. And it'll go right next to my two giant boxes of Hello Panda candy. Now, this one, Kikiri Drumsticks, which are chili and lime fried chicken flavored snacks. Yeah, check that out. They've taken chicken and a biscuit and really uh, blown it away. No, no. Yeah, there's a. Yeah, there's a vibration. Weird. Look. Oh, it's like a display box. How very strange. I, I like their mascot. Their mascot is an enraged, screaming chicken mourning the death of his own kind. There's also a funky. Uh, Cartoon Hunter. Yeah, and according to the uh, the package here, if you'll take a look. A cook? Yeah, he's in a tryst with Cook. I think there's a story unfolding here. They are the villains, and that chicken is their victim, or the champions of their victim. Boy, just, they really don't want you getting into these. Now this is not this is not Japanese. This comes out of Seoul, Korea. Yeah, we got it at the local uh, 
at Nam Hai, which is the local Asian grocery store. Chili and wine. And you can see they, they indeed do look like little drumsticks. Yeah, they're hollow. This tastes exactly like what it says it is. It tastes like the little uh, chicken drumsticks you get at the at the Chinese buffet. And with chili and lime. Wow, this is a lot more kick than that yeah. Kit Kat did. Yeah. Mmm. Wow, that one gets you by surprise. Woo hoo hoo. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing, chili and lime. Really don't, they really mean it. And it throws up a plume of dust so it coats the back of your throat. You need to go get another one of those from the fridge, uh, That's why I've got Gatorade. That's, this, takes more, this takes Gatorade. I was only half expecting that. that was, I was expecting a little bit, but man. You know what? Give me another. Let's, let's, oh. let's be stupid. Yeah, here you go. Eat all. We're going to be stupid for the internet. Do it a go. I'll we're gonna get you. some entertainment out of this. We're gonna get some entertainment out of value out of this some one way. Or okay, other. on three. One, one two, two, three. Oh, and the chicken gives us revenge. Oh. I have taken on the role of the chef, and he has taken on the role of the explorer. And the chicken has conquered us. Oh. Mm. Oddly, I'm not getting that kick this time. It's kind of delayed reaction now. Now I can feel it spreading on me. Maybe the first one just kind of numbed everything in my mouth. Okay. You know what? Yeah, if you like this second round isn't that bad. Hmm. If you like spicy food and you like um, sort of meat-like chips, like pork rinds and stuff, these would actually be really good. My sinuses are a little clearer now. Oh, bonus. Okay, so do we want to go for strange food or funny name? Let's go funny name. Everyone, it's the famous Cream Colon. I've seen that video. Cream Colon. Oh. Once again, I think it's got that wacky display packaging for no reason. Okay, that's that's Japanese. Yep. Oh, wait, it says open right there. Let's see. It's got a little bit of burning chicken in my throat. It is basically, oh, wheat cracker, cream corn, milk rich, glyco broth. Get a whiff of this. Ooh. Oh, it smells like a very, it's a very strong vanilla smell. Smells like vanilla cream. Give one more. Doesn't it seem familiar? Yeah. Almost homemade, kind of. Yeah. Here you go. Take one. I don't think I can really eat this until I get the burn of that fucking chicken cracker out of my off my tongue. I didn't get hit hard. I'm getting hit persistent this time around. Like combos without the dog food, kind of. Yeah. All right, now that the burn is mostly gone, a lot softer than anticipated. But yeah, it's like an inside out, um, like those little cake rolls. No. Oh. The, the material, the, the stuff inside the colon, the cream of the green colon. It's like a, um, a very soft, very subtle vanilla icing. Not quite Walmart grade, but but it's very they're very tasty. Yeah. And like a lot of Japanese candy, they're not like super sweet. It's like a it's like a cream pocky someone's turned inside out. Pretty much. Yeah, these are good. I would recommend. I would recommend 
eating cream colon when you get the opportunity. What the heck? Purple? I guess that must be it, because I don't know what else it would be doing this for. Well, so much for that. So much for the close-up. Okay. It was a worthy experiment. But we got a couple other things to try. I ain't trying one of them. Well, you can go right the hell on and try one of them. I ain't got, you know the one I'm looking at. Yeah. There we go. You enjoy that. All right. We have the Taco Tank. Taco chips. Or taco chips. Taco. Taco? Taco. It has a happy little octopus with a diving mask on the front, which is counterintuitive, but. Uh, minced corvina fish. Uh, There's a high likelihood that Greg's allergic to this. So that's octopus powder, tapioca starch, shrimp powder. There we go. Yeah, highly likely that Greg is allergic. So I'm going to take this one on my own. Yeah, this weekend I found out that yes, I am Ooh. indeed allergic to mushrooms. So. Ain't no way in hell I'm touching that. Yeah. Okay, for smell, uh, it smells kind of like the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It smells kind of like the uh, the, the fish and butchery at Nam Hai if you empty it out and let it get dry and musty. I'm closing that right now because, whoa, is that aromatic. That is a huge cracker, too. Yeah, it's, uh, well, I think they're supposed to be chips. What they have on the cover is not what I have here. They show like, like freaking squid shaped red ruffles, but this is more of a. Just Are you a, sure that they all? You didn't just get a bum one? Well, let me double check. But, nope, they're all like that. I'm gonna seal that smell oh, in there. Oh, I just caught a whiff of that one. Honestly, that looks like it'd be a good uh, dip and scoop kind of chip. Yeah, that's probably what it's meant for. It, it's designed like that. But let's see how it goes. Hmm. It's like everything you don't like about calamari with none of what you do. Because when I think octopus, I think crunchy. Yeah, it's crunchy and just vaguely fishy. Yeah. I kind of wish it was more obnoxious so I could get a better reaction. But it's just mildly unpleasant. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Round two. Now, we don't know what what these are exactly. All we know is that it's natural flowers candy. There is an apostrophe where there should not be an apostrophe. Yeah. These are also, these are from Taiwan. Ingredients, maltose, sugar, milk, palm oil, flavor, food color added. I'm sure we're in for quite a wild ride. Natural. This really looks like something you get out of like a Dollar General. It's like the generic candies at Dollar General. Of course, huh? oh, they're individually sealed. They yeah, they're actually a little bit of a. I'm gonna try one of each color, even though I'm dead certain it won't make a damn bit of difference. Actually, it's not even color. Everyone's got different. Uh, everyone's flower. got a different flower. Which we can't show you since the uh, the close-up close camera isn't right? working. But let's see, this looks kind of like a marigold. I have no idea. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up several of them just to see. If you open up the pink, and I've got a little pink tablet, and I've opened up the blue, and I've got the same. Okay, yeah, I think they're all the same. Shebang, no matter what. Let the mystery begin. They're a hard crunchy. Mm -hmm. They're a hard candy. Generally sweet. A little aromatic. They're a sweet with a weird aftertaste. Like the air in my mouth is taking on a weird flavor. 
I think these may actually be candies made with like flower scent. Yeah. Yeah, that aftertaste is really kicking in. It's yeah. it's a it's a it's a lingering not a sugary sweetness, but a Smells like I just shoved my face in a bouquet while uh, sucking on a vanilla chupa chup. I, I can't find the words to describe the aftertaste that's going on here, but it's sweet to the point of mildly unpleasant. Not like hyper sugary. I'm just trying to. I could, you know what? It, 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 I get a taste of coconut milk. Yeah. Yeah. I do get the feeling that if we'd had these right after we had those really hot uh, chicken drumstick things, it would have helped. I'm not sure I want to find that combination. Ugh. I'm just thinking it would neutralize it, because mm -hmm. it, it does seem like the type of thing you'd eat right after a big, like have to clean your palate after a big old bowl of curry. It's a bland sweet. That's what I think bland is really the word I'm looking for here. I think if you, it, it feels like something they'd give you to settle your stomach. I think. I think that's where I'm coming from. Yeah. Okay. Well, I gotta get your shit out of my mouth. Oh wow. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's not really good. I would not recommend it. Never seen him actually throw something out of his mouth. <laughs> okay. He's trying these next things because there ain't no way in hell I'm putting those in my mouth either. Yes, these are questionably these are questionable energy drinks and glass bottles from the uh, the Pan Asian supermarket. I wish I hadn't thrown away those tarps because if your heart explodes, I don't want any of it on me. I will simply ascend to a higher state of being. The first one I'm having yeah, is. Ceiling. Is going to be is called Carabo. It has the skull of a, I guess, a caribou or a bull, some kind of herbivore, and on its head is the red symbol of a dove. It is manufactured by Eastland Foods in Columbia, Maryland. That's not frightening. Oh, I don't know. Manu okay, that's exclusive U.S. agent. Oh, okay. Manufactured by Caribou Tawandong in Samut Pakarn, Thailand. Okay. Oh, hang on. Serve chilled. Well, we're not doing that today. Please consume responsibly. Not recommended for children, pregnant, or breastfeeding women. People sensitive to caffeine or persons with heart disease. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. <laughs> Notice it doesn't say anything about cause. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay. It's got the taurine. Of course it has taurine. Funny story. First time I ever actually looked at a monster can, it was at this. It was at the right angle. You had, you know, it has taurine printed on the top. Mm -hmm. I didn't see the TA. Uh, that was off to the side. So I just part of why I can't drink those things. Mm. First impressions on. I, I can take a whiff though. Yeah, take a whiff. It smells like Robitussin. Yeah. Yeah, this is basically Red Bull. Uh, oh, well, actually, it's a little bit less acrid than Red Bull. It has it. It basically tastes like you took a bunch of sweet tarts, you crushed them into a, a thing of water, shook it up real good. Yeah. You barely swig that. Take a good tart. Fine. We want some cardiac arrest. How disappointed. It doesn't even have that nasty aftertaste. Hmm. I mean, this is something that you, you're you definitely not going to drink this for its flavor. 
But if you're just going for energy, yeah. If you want some after this, we can drop some of the natural flowers candy into it. No, that's <laughs> fine, that's fine. I'm going to actually, I'm saving this because it's like, you know, it, if it gets the job done, it gets the job Herb done. Chill, hand that over here. Let's yeah, go it. put that in the fridge. Okay, now the next one we are going for because it is manly. This is Commando. And its symbol is two bears about to fuck each other's shit up. And yeah, check that out. Commando beverage energy drink. Energy drink replenishes energy, revitalizes body functions, and relieves fatigue. This is, again, made in Thailand. Expiry date C cap. Oh, let this have expired already. I have, you know what? I have a funny definition of friend, apparently. No, you're gonna live. Apparently, it doesn't go bad until July <laughs> next year. Okay, come on. Please be something different than the Carabao. Let's, let's take it with. Oh, wow. That that smells like Pepto. Let me, yeah, let me take a... Dude, that's Pepto-Bismol's flavor. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Bottoms up. Yeah, it, it, analyzing. <laughs> I'm not sure why anyone would do this. It make, still has some make of a that video like this, I guess. No, it, it still has some of that sweet tart flavor to it, but it really tastes like Pepto Bismol. It's um, yeah, I guess you would have to be an angry bear to really go after this. I'm intrigued. Yeah, I'm actually, take a I'm, taste. I'm going to push you out of that one. Yeah. See what I mean? Pepto Bismol, oh. man. Yeah. You see, I, I can survive Red Bull. I've, I've survived a lot of these. They drink a lot of energy drinks. Yeah. And he's kind of caffeine sensitive, so it, it does, he doesn't go after these. But man, I've never tasted one where they tried to make it, literally tried to make it taste like Pepto Bismol. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I would recommend this for settling an upset stomach, but for tormenting people who don't know what they're getting into, yeah. For scouring the palate, maybe. Yeah. That was deeply unpleasant. So yeah, that's uh, that's our let's try. We got the commando. Oh, this is the winner. This is the winner of terribleness. Pepto Bismol flavored energy drink. Mm. Runners up. Bland flower candy. Um, and with winning in the special category of offensive stink taco chips. These these could be used as a prank. You could you could open up a bag, leave it in the locker room. Oh. It's like a like a stink bomb. Oh. Oh, taco chips and gym mat. Oh, <laughs> I think the gym mat kind of comes with it. That'll win the what stench is on this block of Pasadena game. No, serious. I like we intentionally avoided the durian candies, or at least I did. They had a lot of fun. With what's now? A uh, durian. It's that fruit that like they can't bring on airplanes because it lets loose a cloud of stench that mm. horrifies and dismays all in its range. But the what I was expecting was something that tasted like a kind of like a fried calamari, and this, this no, this is this is like fish tank. Mm -hmm. Like uh, remember Squidly Diddly from Hanna Barbera? It's like this is his gym bag, right, <laughs> right here. <laughs> Squidly Diddly's gym bag, and the drumsticks do come with a recommendation. They're they were actually pretty good. Actually, yeah, I'd yeah, I like those. Little little um. Uh... 
little bit of an untended kick. I actually did better with the second batch. Than yeah. These two, your drumsticks with the enraged chicken, he will get his revenge, and your cream colon. These are uh, the two that I would recommend eating. In fact, where's another one on chicken? Where's, where's that bag of chicken? Here's the chickens. I'm gonna have me another bag. I'm gonna have me another chickens. That's some pretty good chickens. See you next time. Yeah, I'm pretty good.